Hello again, Fishalots! In this episode, we're gonna turn this colossal mess into this. And all right, Fishalots, so there you have it. That's all the gear packed in there. I'm gonna go through it with you step by step. I mean, just look how neat and organized that is right there. All right, now we're on to the big part of this, and that's all the hooks and the rigging and you name it. And this is really what's gonna take a lot of time. So it's a big job. So I brought in a ringer, a professional, to help me with all this and quicken up the pace here to make video that much better for all you fish lots out there. And there she is. Hi, Finn. You gonna help daddy? You sitting in on my carp bait? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's a, that's a ring I use for my bait. Don't put that in your mouth. Their mommy's gonna be angry. <laughs> Thank goodness mommy doesn't watch daddy's YouTube videos, right? So now it will take me normally about an hour to put all this together. It'll probably take me about four, but hey, no problem. It's a, it's a fish a lot in training right here. Right, Finn? Yeah, let's test her out. Finn, can you hand daddy the blowback hair rig? Yeah, you're looking for it. Yeah, I know. It's in this big pile of carp gear right here. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. You know, we'll, we'll have to train her up. Oh, close. That's close, not not quite a rig, but okay. <laughs> all right, at some point I'll get this all organized and show you <laughs> show you exactly how it uh, how it benefits you out on the water. And to help me get organized here is first I'm going to show you the type of containment I'm going to use for all this carp fishing gear, and that of course is the Fox Explorer Rugsack Medium. So this is basically a tackle gear backpack. Um, I absolutely love this type of system for. Mostly all of my fishing. I use uh, my backpack systems exclusively for bass fishing as well, and it's just pretty convenient. There's a lot of features to this rugsack, AKA backpack. This is the medium size, and I wanted a smaller size because this is absolutely perfect for kayak fishing and carp fishing from my kayak. So this is the first piece of equipment that we're gonna use and need to organize that mass pile of gear. And you'll be amazed at how much stuff is gonna fit in here. And the next piece of equipment we're gonna need is a tackle box of sorts. And this is the Nash Subterfuge XL work box. Now I got the XL version of this because I just wanna fit as much stuff as possible in here. And this size actually does fit perfectly neatly inside of the box, inside of my backpack, essentially. So those are the two key essential pieces of tackle containment, we're gonna call them, in order to get ourselves organized so that we could catch a lot more carp. And I'll do a full tutorial on both of these later on. And all right, now on to everybody's favorite subject, and that is the actual tackle. So what I used to do is, I used to just get one of these little clip systems that you get from Michaels right here, and it really is an easy way just to organize a little bit of gear that you may have. You can tell right here I got artificial corn, I got swivels, you know, I got anti-tangle sleeves right here, I got helicopter sleeves, I got shrink tubing, more swivels, more tail rubbers, you name it. I kind of got it in here, but the problem with this system is you can hold a lot of gear like this, but it just gets overwhelming and confusing. Uh, I end up having to flip through a lot of this stuff, and I actually got two of them. Yeah, it's just not an efficient way to do it, and I'm gonna organize these a specific way, and that's where that subterfuge, extra large work box is really gonna come into play, is because I'm gonna individually be able to put these in there. What's that, you coming here to help daddy? Upstairs. What do you want to do upstairs? I should die. You want to play? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you want me to? Did you just try and turn off the camera to blow your daddy? <laughs> okay, you sure you don't want to help me organize this pile of stuff right here? Look at all these hooks and things that we have to organize. Mm -hmm. No? Oh, you're trying to turn it off? All right. All right, let's go play. Let's go play. All right, and first things first here, you can tell I got a lot of bait, you know, these are boilies, these are more boilies, I also got some powders, I got pellets, I got floaters, I got all sorts of baits and scents and stuff here. So first thing is we're gonna separate the bait, and then on this side, 
I have all my hooks and terminal tackle and all sorts of stuff. Here's some line, putties. Um, there you go, dark matter putty, stuff like this for carp fishing, different weights. I haven't even opened this yet. So there's quite a lot of gear here that I'm going to have to separate. So the first step, of course, is to just kind of get organized and clear all this out. Yeah, and like I said, so first step is here, you know, start clearing some stuff away. Oh, 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 what's this? Well, I'm so glad I found this, the silver play button. Wow. And there you go, Fish a Lot. So it was just kind of a funny way for me to introduce this next little segment to say thank you to all you Fish a Lots who have watched all my videos, supported the channel from the very beginning, and allowed this little guy to be possible. So as I lay in a pile of my own fishing gear, I just want to say thank you, and thank you for the wonderful fishing community that we're building here on Fishing with Johnny Fish a Lot. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Can't thank you enough. And all right, so again, I just need to separate all the bait that I have, all the boilies. These are some scents, different attractants that I have. I'm just going to separate them all into one pile because this is going to go into one section. <gasps> ben, are you going to help Daddy? Hi. Hi, Ben. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Ben. I'm here. Yeah, I'm organizing fishing stuff. See all this? You want help? No. No? You don't want help? Yeah, this is not fun work, so Ben decided to be done and go play with Mommy. All right, just another quick tip about preserving your baits. In this case, these boilies right here. Okay, Ziploc bags work pretty good, but if you don't use them in a little while, these things will turn as hard as rocks. And that is these little containers right here. So this is an M&M container. Of course, I ate all the M&Ms, and well, now I'm using it as cart bait. And in my opinion, if you're going to use containers for human food consumption, they're going to be really good for fish as well so this is super easy to just keep for a really long time and it preserves the the bait really good so in addition to separating the baits of course i'm going to separate like terminal gear and tackle and that's going to be separate from like supporting tackle things like bang sticks uh spods things like that i'm just going to keep everything separate so i'm basically going to have three three categories of separation. One is gonna be tackle, one is gonna be bait, and one is gonna be like accessory type of gear. I have a tripod, I'm gonna organize that as well. All right, a lot of work ahead of us. All right, here we go. Here's next up is our NGT tripod that I have. Again, I'm gonna do a product review on that, so make sure you don't miss it on the channel, but this will have to be organized as well. I got just a spot for this on that Fox Explorer uh, backpack that I just showed you. So let's put this in the pile of uh, the support equipment, I'll call it, and of course all our hooks and terminal tackle, swivels, hooks, weights, bobbers, you name it, is gonna be over here. Put it over there. Oh, there goes Finn, grabbing the stuff that I'm trying to organize. Oh, there's my swivels. And she's just throwing them. Oh, very good. Thank you. This is... <laughs> oh, where are you going with that? Oh, you're putting it over there. Okay, yeah, that's not really part of the organization here, bud. Can't leave home without a can opener. Now, I have used a knife in the past and that works okay, but this just makes your life so much easier for canned corn and making uh, one of my favorite pack baits, which is just panko, corn, hominy, and gelatin. Oh, my good old catapult. How do you go carp fishing without a catapult? It's just so much fun to launch all the baits everywhere. It's just great. Tutti Fruity, some more attractants. You can see this is Rod Hutchinson. Tutti Fruity, really like this stuff, the liquid kind. I've been using this up quite a bit for my carp fishing. All right, so these are PVA mesh and PVA bags. This is gonna go in its own pile, and I think I'm gonna use this separately in the tackle box just so I have bags and mesh systems separate from ground baits. Some more bait, these are sticky bloodworms, 2.3 millimeter pellets. I absolutely love these things. They are just awesome for a bag, a PVA mesh mix, or just chumming them out. It's just super, super awesome bait. Love these things. Tiger nuts, love these things. I haven't quite uh, made them yet. I'm gonna put these in a bucket, fill them with water, make them all nice and sweet. And then we're gonna have ourselves some carp fishing fun with these guys. Dog bones in a Ziploc bag. What is he doing with dog bones? This is an absolutely great way to chum waters Carp absolutely love dog biscuits, same as dogs. 
So you simply just take this bait, you could grind it up in that grinder I showed you, you fling it out and this is a super cheap, inexpensive way to get carp feeding on the surface. So always keep a bag of dog bones with you. They're super inexpensive, super easy way to get carp feeding right here. And here you go. So this is kind of cool. This is a hook sharpening kit. This is the one that Adam Penning uses quite a bit when you see him uh, do his tutorials or write for his numerous magazines and things that he writes for. Super great kit for sharpening hooks. Yep, gonna go into the pile. There you go, quite a pile there actually of support gear for carp fishing. What do you got there? Is that a PVA bag? Oh yeah, that's that's PVA mesh for, for carp rigs. Yeah, you wanna make some PVA bags? Yeah, well, that's a mesh bag. Yeah, those are fun, right? Oh yeah, that's some carp bait. Yeah, yeah, you would probably eat that too. That stuff tastes super sweet. Yeah, you're so cute. Just wanna squeeze those cheeks. <laughs> Let me just show you how, how I have everything kind of organized right here before I actually pack it in. So right here, you see these. Are, this is everything I need for my float fishing. Fishing basically on the surface for carp and that's going to include zig rig so i'm just going to use zig rigs right you don't necessarily fish this on the surface all the time subsurface or whatever but i'm going to include zig rigs with surface fishing just to make it easier for organizational purposes are you gonna eat that yeah don't eat don't put the don't put the carp bait in your mouth that's not for babies that's for fish yeah those are pva bags yeah, of course, if you did eat those, that would be good because they dissolve in water, so. Oh, is that cool? Well, that's to fill the PVA bag. Uh. Yeah. yeah, you're excited too to get organized with carp gear. Oh, oh goodness, don't put that in your mouth. That's really, that's really gross. Yeah, mommy won't be happy with that. Here you see I have all my hooks. These are gonna be separated, of course. Here are my no trace beads for chod systems or helicopter systems. Here are multi-purpose clips. Of course, here's all my swivels and this is all gonna go together. And these are all my rig rings and different things like this. So this is all gonna go together. The hooks are all gonna go together. The floats are all gonna go together. Here's all my accessories. Here's my bite alarm. Here's my hook sharpening kit, you know, uh, for grinding up bait, can opener, catapult, all this kind of stuff. There's my tripod right here. All this is gonna be separated. Of course, my mess of baits over here that I put in the corner. You like the swivels? Good thing they're in a sealable bag. Yeah, it's like the Lion King. Thank you, can I have those back? Thank you, oh, 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 thank you. Oh, 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 are you playing with that? Oh, look at that smile, look at that devious smile. I need my swivels back. Oh, no, oh, no, you're sw you threw that, oh, no. And these are just gonna be my tools, right? If you don't have a gate latch, baiting needle in your life, I really recommend it. It's really great, you absolutely need one. My scissors, bait floss, all that kind of stuff is gonna to go together. And then I have these neat little things that come into this pouch right here, which is like another little tackle box I have. And then of course I have my safety system for helicopter systems and chod systems and whatever else. Um, I'm gonna leave that with this right here that you see. So that's kind of how I have it organized so far. Um, let's see how we make out putting this all together. Boom, there you go. Look how much this thing fits. I mean, this basically occupied that entire ring that I just showed you, but take a look at that. I mean, I still got extra room in here. I think I'm gonna use this uh, for some of the anti-tangle sleeves as well over here. So now we're gonna have to make a pivot because I thought initially this mesh right here, which is really big, could fit everything PVA into it. So, you know, any PVA mesh, like this, my PVA bags, everything I need for bag fishing or filling up a PVA mesh bag essentially would go in here. But then I realized if I did that, I wouldn't have enough room for like 
my catapult here or can opener, which I could also use a knife or like my grinding equipment or even my tool sharpener here. So I think we're going to make a quick little pivot. I think my PVA bags are going to go into this section right here, which is hard and a nice big open space to contain these really thick containers just like that. And we're going to see how this works right here. I'm still kind of figuring it out. So, you know, come along with the ride here. And that basically does it. Here, let's even this out here a little bit. There you go, and that basically does it. There you go, for the Zig Gear. So that fits, uh, that fits really nice. Let's see if it closes up here. Yep, it closes pretty good. All right, so there you go. And all right, fish lots. First, let's start with the NAS Subterfuge Extra Large Workbox. And boy, I'm glad I went with the Extra Large on this one. I mean, look at all this stuff that you see. That's all the terminal tackle. Again, this is all my PVA setups. This is the rig tubing and my line and leader that I need to make leaders. And again, this is all my Zig gear and my floats right in here. And this is all my extra gear. So things like my spot floats, uh, my slingshot, um, things to grind up the boilies, hook sharpeners, can openers, that all is fits right in here. This closes up super nice and easy. So this is a huge, huge tray right here. And there you have it. So that is the first set. We're gonna put it right into our box. On to my next little tackle box here. So this again is my rig wallet. You can see all the rigs there. These are all the tools I need, my baiting needles, um, all sorts of things, bait floss, scissors, everything that I need is right in this little section right here. So we zip this up. And the links to everything that I use in this video will be included below, so no worries there. So now this is going to be all my lead systems right here. So this is going to be for my inline leads, as you can see right there. And these are my lead clips. These are my method leads right here. Excellent for all my pack baits that I like to use. These are my inline leads right there. Sorry, the light's kind of getting in the way. But then, of course, this is my uh, corn, fake corn, and bait stops are right here, and some extra swivels and hooks just in case I need them. Then, of course, is my helicopter safety system that I'm keeping with my pre-tied helicopter rigs right here. So really great setup right here. It's got everything I need and I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna close this up. All right, zip that one up. We're gonna hold on to this one for the time being. So before you heard me mention that I have my bite alarm systems, these are gonna go in first. So I'm gonna take my bite alarm right here, slide it in, fits really, really nice in there. Take a look at that. My second one's gonna go right here. And then this is going to go on top. I'm sorry, this is going to go in first, just like this. And then this, that's my second set of bite alarms right there, is going to go right on top. Now right here, you can tell that I have a lot. That's my uh, Smart Liquid and my Tutti Fruity and my Rod Hutchison and my Sticky GLM Extract and Betaline and all sorts of things like that. So there's all my attractants, fits right in that upper bag right there. This sleeve is open for my keys, wallet, whatever I might need. And these are the Ziploc bags that I showed you earlier. In case I do open up some bait and there's no way to reseal it, I got these resealable Ziploc bags in here and they will go in the box as well. And all right, now I'm gonna take my NGT tripod along with my wrapping sticks, along with my bank stick right here. And I'm gonna wrap this all up. It fits conveniently in this bag that they give you. So let's just uh, put this up here. Now let's take these cool straps right here that this uh, Fox Explorer rug set come with. Now I'm gonna take my entire NGT pack right here, this entire tripod, and I'm literally just gonna slip it right down into here, just like that. Sorry for the shaky cam there. I'm gonna tighten down these straps, take a look. There you go, one, two, 
Another look right here. So you tighten them down really nice right there. And there you go. So this backpack now is totally ready to go. And that's it, fish -a lots Everything fits into these two things right here. I'm gonna carry a bag and I'm gonna carry a backpack and I am good to go. And all right, fish -a lots so getting organized is just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to catching these big elusive carp. If you really wanna up your game with carp fishing, go ahead and click on this video right here where I get even deeper into the tips and tricks that could really catch you a lot of big carp. All right, fish -a lots thanks for tuning in. I'll see you out there on the water.